Okay, so just for fun, we're going to do another center mass problem. So here, let's say I have, um, oh, I'm not sure if I like that marker. Okay, here's a right triangle, and let's say this distance is S, and that's H. So it's an S by H triangle. Let's see if you can see that. Hmm. Let's switch back to this blue. It says bullet two. Weird. See, that's just thicker, right? It's better. Okay, maybe that one just needs to be worn in. So that's H and that's S. And this is a two-dimensional right a triangle, and so it has some thickness. But I can say that the mass of this triangle, the total mass, is going to be uh, sigma times the area. Sigma is the mass per unit area. Okay, And so the area of this triangle is going to be one-half base times height, just like that. Okay, so we're all happy. That's the total mass. Now, let's just find the y center mass. So, remember that the y center mass is equal to the sum over i, mi, yi, over the mass total. If I had this as individual pieces, I would add up all those pieces times their y value. I don't want to do that, okay? I'd rather do something a little bit different. Because this is a two-dimensional thing. I'd have to add up uh, all these. I'd have to break these into little squares, which I could do, and add up all their values. I'd have, that's a whole bunch of little dx by dy's. Okay. So instead, I just if I'm just looking at the y center mass, I can actually break this into small strips like that. And in that strip, I know the center mass is at the center of the strip, the y center mass. The, is at the center of the strip. Um, and so I know that, and I can find, I should have made that a bigger picture. That's the second time I've redrawn this. Oh well, what are you going to do? Okay, let's draw it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's better. So here is my triangle. It's going to have a thickness of dy and a height of y. Okay. So I can add up, instead of summing in two dimensions, I can just add up all these strips to find the y center mass. Now, the, the y value is easy, but the mass is not easy. So I need the mass of each one of these little pieces. Okay. So that's going to turn this into an integral, because I have, I'm letting the thickness size dy go to zero. So that means I have the following equation for the center mass. Y center mass is going to be 1 over the mass. Okay, So let's just write that as, I'll write that as 1 over mass for now, the total mass, which is that. And I'm going to integrate from y equals 0 to y equals h. I'm, going, I'm adding up that way. And I need to have the mass of that piece, I'm going to call it dm, and y, the y value of that piece. Okay, but I can't integrate I can't integrate if I have a variable y and an integration variable dm. That doesn't work. So I need to get dm in terms of dy. So if I'm looking at that little square, I could say dm is going to be equal to x times y. I'm sorry, it's not x times y. It's x times dy. <coughs> it's early. Do I always do my videos early in the morning so I, I make mistakes? Maybe. dy. Okay, times sigma, the density. So this is the area of that piece. It's x, actually it's not x. It has some length L and um, thickness dy, and that's the area. So well, what is that? What is that length? Well, it goes from this value of x to that value of x. This line is a straight line. It has a slope of h over s. So this is the line y equals uh, h over s x. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is s, y is h. So this line, if I know my y value, I can find the length of that line. It's going to be this length, s, minus this length. So dm is going to be s minus this point, which depends on y. It's going to be, um, well I want to find it's s minus the x value. 
if I solve this for x, I get x equals s over h y. So this is going to be minus s y over h. Okay, let's just check. I made something, oh, now I've got to put in the dy and the sigma. So let's just check this. So how long should my little box be when I'm down here at the bottom? It should be s long. So if y is 0, this should be s. So y is 0, I get s. Up here at the top, s, the length of that thing should be 0. So if y equals h, if I put in h, I get s minus s is 0. So that, that seems to, to mostly work. Okay, so now I have my dm, and it's in terms of dy. So I can put that back into here. So I get y center mass, 1 over the mass, total mass. Um, the sigma I'm going to factor out. I can factor out the s, too, because s is in everything. So let's say sigma s. Now I have the integral from 0 to h. 1 minus y over h, y dy. So remember, this is the mass, and that's the y-coordinate. So I need, and find the center mass, I need the mass times the y-coordinate. That was the mass. That's the y-coordinate. Okay, so now I can multiply that out, and I get um, sigma s over m 0 to h. I'm going to get y minus y squared over h dy. And I can integrate that. Okay, that's pretty easy. I can integrate uh, the integral of y is y squared over 2. The integral of y squared is y cubed over 3. So I get sigma s over m y squared over 2 minus yeah, y cubed over 3h from 0 to h. Okay, so now I'm going to move over here. So, uh, y center mass, the zeros are going to cancel, so I get sigma. I'm going to put in, actually if I put in this, let's put in this for the mass too. So I get sigma s over sigma one half s h times h squared over 2 minus h cubed over 3h. Sigma's cancel, which makes sense. Doesn't really matter if it's uniform density. It doesn't matter where that is. Um, the, this s cancels. That h cancels. That cancels. So, and that one cancels that. So I get um, two h over two minus h over three. So this is going to be three h over three minus two h over 3 equals h over 3. So the y center mass, first of all, it has units of distance. That's good. The y center mass is a third of the way up. Not a halfway the up. A third of the way up. Okay. Where is the x center mass? Well, I mean, now I would I could do another problem, but it's, and I'll let you do it. It's almost the same thing. Is if you break this into uh, vertical strips and uh, add them up that way. Okay, but that's the center mass for a right triangle. What if it wasn't a right triangle? You can try that too. Right? What if it's a triangle like this? Well, in that case, you're going to have two functions for y to find the length of that rectangular piece. But you should do that. Okay.